Hi guys, uh, welcome to Kesha Pastro. Uh, this is the series of uh, Space Science. So we are going for the second episode of the Space Science. And today I intend to talk about habitability of planets. Uh, habitability, what do we know about habitability? Uh, habitable means where life can survive and all the credentials that's required for life to survive like water and other beings uh, to get the right amount of uh, temperature from its host stars to survive. So what do I mean by that? So we know our solar system and we have uh, eight planets and Earth comes, in the, uh, Earth comes in the third orbit of this solar system. The first orbit has Mercury and it is too close to sun, it can't have water so it can't sustain life. And if it is at the extreme end uh, like Neptune, it is also too far away and it's too cold so it can't have life in them. For Earth-like planet, the distance is just right to sustain life and sustain water. So, uh, when we come talk about habitability, these are the potential, uh, these are the habitable zones. We call these things as habitable zones, where uh, water can sustain and where life can sustain. So, in order to check these potentially habitable planets in the different solar systems like extrasolar planets, uh, we have uh, presently we have uh, 44 potentially habitable planets formed from Kepler spacecraft and uh, there are more to come in with more future missions like James Webber Space Telescope and well, other different uh, uh, space agencies like Twinkle and other things. So uh, one more thing about this habitable zone is uh, Mars, well, well, you can ask the question, but where is Mars in this habitable zone? Actually, Mars is almost similar to Earth, but it's at the edge of the habitable zone. Uh, so, there is some ancient theory of Mars saying that there could be, there was life uh, on Mars, and uh, due to uh, due to the expansion and uh, decrement, increment and decrement of the size of the star, Sun, uh, the habitable zone has shifted from Mars to Earth. So due to the uh, due to the during the instability time of the star, maybe it's not totally at equilibrium, and since of, uh, for many ages the star can shrink and increase its size based on the radiational pressure and the gravitational force exerted by the star. So th the reason uh, due to this reason, Mars could be at the head. head Mars is at the edge of the uh, habitable zone presently, but some ancient theories says Mars could have been in the habitable zone, and uh, due to some natural calamity. Mars has lost all the life and we have found the traces of uh, um, the signature of a mountain uh, range of a Mars on Earth which suggests that it is a possibility so uh, and there is a lot so we are very much interested in finding Mars like planets on exoplanets not just Earth like planets but Mars like planets and uh, if we send our extremophile life forms to test on Mars and some of them have survived and uh, there are some rock extremophiles which even I am working on and uh, we have saw, uh, found out to be found some uh, interesting rock extremophiles like Krukokai Diopsis and Dacarosporomato and Dacarosporomato has actually survived on mass Martian conditions so we, are, we will be looking into more uh, in those details and uh, I am uh, I'll be writing more papers on that. Uh, if you want to find my papers which I have written on these things, and it, it is already published and it has been accepted. So if you want to uh, read about these things, just uh, type my whole name Madhukashiv Jagadish and you will be able to get you be able to get access to these things uh, on ResearchGate. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, kindly do subscribe and uh, don't forget to like the video and if you have any comments, kindly leave them below. and. Um, Thanks for watching.